Yes, to run homemade diesel fuel in a furnace, you do have to adjust the air fuel mixture. On the side of the blowers, there's usually a little uh, adjustment on the side of them to add or take away more air. The turbo heater, you cannot really make adjustments, but you can put stuff on the back of it to adjust air fuel mixture. So here, let me turn on, I'll show you. So as you can hear, the turbo heater is running perfectly fine. As long as I cut back on some of the air going in it. But as soon as I remove this, it wants to stall out. It does not, because there's not enough fuel but too much air. So I put this cardboard behind it since I cannot adjust the fuel mixture on this heater. So with the cardboard back in place, now it's running good again. And uh, I, sometimes I have to put this extra little piece on here. And you can just tell by the sound how good it's running. So now it's running nice and clean and straight. Let's just say I blocked too much air. It starts blowing out flames at the end of the torpedo heater. And over time we'll start smoking because it's not getting enough air. So a furnace on a house, I normally go with a uh, full size smaller nozzle. And I'll usually bump the air mixture just a little bit. And all you have to do is go outside, check your chimney to see if there's smoke coming out of it or not. If it's black smoke, it's not enough air. If it's white smoke, it's getting too much air. And like I said, you gotta go by the sound of it. So this is getting a little too much air. As soon as you cover it, you can tell the sound of it. Again, this is 40% stale gasoline and 60% used motor oil. If I was using fresh gas from the pump, I'd say it's like 35% gasoline to like 65% motor oil. Or you can do like from a 50-50 mix of diesel fuel and oil to like a 75% diesel to 25% motor oil. That will work in a lot of heaters as well. And another thing you gotta watch out for is using these turbo heaters inside of a sealed garage. You don't want to get CO2 poisoning or anything like that. And also running the homemade diesel fuel inside of a garage, it runs really rich so it will burn your eyes really bad. So. When I use my heater for inside the garage, that's only clear kerosene, so it does not do that. Well, I use a clear kerosene in the wick heaters. Now, any furnace or a diesel heater that's vented outside, perfectly fine. Long as like a boiler system or a radiator or like forced hot air or a heat exchanger, that's all perfectly fine to use for your house or garage. Another thing you gotta watch out for by burning used motor oil as fuel in the heater, the motor oil burns much hotter than regular diesel fuel. It also is corrosive, so you gotta be careful on what you have on the inside. And you also have the carbon buildup from all that burnt oil.